Hello everyone, my name is Yusef and I am Mr. Musette. In this video I am creating a smaller sketchbook spread illustration in one of my art creation sketchbooks which is an A5 size or maybe a little bit smaller but it's not that of a big difference. I have these different brands of water-based markers which in general I use them to add some colors in my sketchbooks and I just realized that I didn't created a full illustration using them. So I decided to do that in this video. I will use a limited color palette as I usually do with my illustrations. For the line art I will use a black fine liner and after I color the illustration with the markers I will add some shading with colored pencils. I shared with you last week in my video that I bought a few art creation sketchbook including this one. Currently I am working in an A4 size sketchbook too but I wanted a smaller one because it's more simpler to carry it with me whenever I want to draw somewhere else when I am traveling. And sometimes I don't want to create some large illustrations and the smaller ones take me less time. So I wanted to draw something which is in my safe zone as theme, nothing too complicated. So I went with the sun and the moon illustration. On the left side I drew the sun and on the right side of the sketchbook spread the moon. After I was done with the line art, I colored the base layers with the water-based markers. I used a blue, a pink, a gray and a black one. These different water-based markers have a brush pen and if you use them on a watercolor paper you can activate the pigments and you will get a watercolor effect. I tried them out on watercolor paper and they work really well. And I also tested them on this sketchbook paper and when you activate them with water the ink will bleed through to the other side of the paper a little bit. But if you use them without activating them they are fine. So I decided that I will use them without water. If you want to see me create an illustration using these water based markers on a watercolor paper let me know in the comment section and I will do that in a future video. So I drew the sun and the moon in the middle of the page and I also created a frame around this. After that I colored the illustrations with the markers and after that I took out my Coloria colored pencils which I tested out in a preview video and I couldn't decide if I like these colored pencils or not so I wanted to use them again but I still cannot decide if I really like them.
some of the colors are very buttery and smooth and other colors are quite hard and scratchy. And I also have some other color pencil sets which are as cheap as these ones but are much better. So I added the first shading with a black pencil and after that I smoothed out that shading with a base color and here and there I lightened up some parts of the illustration with a yellow colored pencil. I like to do this sometimes in my illustration to mix the colors directly on the paper with colored pencils. And at the end I added a shadow, more exactly a blue shadow to the frame to give some dimension to the illustration. Whenever I am working with color pencil on an illustration, I like to seal the final result with a fixative and I do that off camera even with my sketchbook illustrations too. That way I don't need to be concerned that when I am working on the other side of the page, the preview illustrations colored pencil shading will smudge. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you did so give it a like and if you are new to my channel feel free to subscribe because I post quite regularly these days on my channel. You can also follow me on my social media accounts which are linked in the description of the video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.